So recently we made a community post on asking which installation you want to see on the Redmi Note 10 Pro, whether it is an Oxygen OS or the MIUI 14. And the majority of the post, nearly some 75% requested and voted for the Oxygen OS. So guess what? Today we will be doing the installation of the Oxygen OS on my Redmi Note 10 Pro. So let's get started. Before proceeding into the video, let me give the shout out to our this video sponsor, IZ. IZ is a cutting edge monitoring application that can be installed on an individual's phone with their consent. Through their simple and intuitive procedures and video tutorial provided in their website, you can have it uh, set up in your uh, particular device. Once having it set up, you have a centralized view to monitor your child's online activities, chat, messages, calls, and even uh, you can track their mobile location all just with few clicks to one step further you can even uh, view their uh, saved contacts personal messages even uh, social media dms and what are all the photos and videos that have stored uh, in their gallery so the procedure in the website have the uh, clear indication which kind of mobile it is what kind of operating system it will run and how uh, the different setup will be will looks like in different kind of operating system and android device i installed it on my redmi note 10 pro with uh, miui the process was straightforward please be informed that this uh, particular iz application is uh, meant for the parents to monitor their children and businesses can also uh, make use of iz app to monitor their employees online activity and uh, explicit content with their knowledge please note that iz can't be used used to monitor uh, someone without their knowledge, consent or permission. Doing so is a violation of their legal uh, policy and terms of use. To know more about IZ and its services, you can visit their website by using the link in the description of this video, also the first pinned comment. So thank you IZ for sponsoring this video. So let's get back to the content. So currently this one is uh, running on the MIUA 14 uh, ERIS. So I will be uh, uh, installing this oxygen OS on top of this. So when it is happening uh, in the Telegram channel, uh, we have uh, the Oxygen OS 13 port, which is released on last month uh, third. And uh, this had a few issues. So uh, to fix uh, most of the things, I will be routing this uh, ROM right after uh, installing it. So I will also have to download the uh, Magis. So I have downloaded the Magisk and here I have it which I will again uh, so here I have all the uh, required files so those are like uh, this game space uh, which will be I'm um, installing along with the Magisk and then the Leica camera uh, which is the uh, MIUA camera so that also I will be installing and then this monolith so will uh, increase the uh, overall uh, usability of this uh, build it seems so uh, this one also i will be uh, this script i will be running through termax app and then this uh, oss final uh, 13 this is the actual rom also this is the uh, recommended orange box recovery so this many things <laughs> i am going to uh, install it so this video may be a little bit uh, longer than the usual so first uh, i have to open the tool i have to open twrp so here the TWRP is there and here I have the uh, latest uh, tool which I will be opening. Okay, so here I have the tool now. So what I am going to do, I uh, just check uh, ADB devices whether it is enabled or not. It is not, uh, ADB device is not, uh, not enabled but this uh, ERS has some cool features so I can directly uh, reboot to fast boot which I am currently doing. So now we are in the uh, fast boot. Here you can see I can type fast boot uh, devices. So device is connected in fast boot. So now I can uh, directly uh, boot the PWRP image file and then I will just uh, install the orange box from the PWRP. So yeah, uh, a fast boot, boot, and then I will drag and drop this PWRP file and let it go through. So all the file links uh, will be available in the description and if you have any doubts uh, regarding how it is actually happening and that, you, we have a dedicated uh, playlist for doing this particular thing, which you can watch by clicking the link uh, which will appear somewhere. If it is not appearing still, you can visit, go to the playlist section of Tech Fancies and watch it. 
so here i have uh, installed uh, this one so now it is booted also so but here i am going to use the adb side load method so i will wipe cache and all it uh, but before that i will just uh, format the data because i don't want uh, anything to be in this one here so i am formatting but before doing it make sure you have backed up all your data and file so this is important next thing is i am going to wipe uh, all this uh, unwanted things so okay so now i will just go here uh, advance and adb side load and i'll side load the orange fox query so adb side load and this here i have the orange fox recovery so this recovery file will uh, install uh, the recovery so now we have uh, successfully installed uh, the orange fox and the internal storage is not seems to be visible but that is fine we are going to use the adb side load method side load and adb uh, this two uh, but uh, yeah it has only one partition so much. so here i am again doing the adb side load so now the side load is started now i'll just uh, install the uh, oss uh, oos 13 so adb side load and I will just drag and drop uh, this particular file here and here is a file so we enter so it takes some time so please be patient this file is almost uh, 3 GB this is a port so always port rooms will be having a high end size I don't recommend using it as your uh, daily driver or something but if you want to check uh, how the OPPO <laughs> car OS is doing good you can uh, install the latest uh, oxygen OS so yeah also we need to give uh, give credit to the uh, developer uh, nayan because it is not an easy thing to uh, this one but how i am trying to say is yes it is easy thing to convert uh, this kind of uh, gsis to sgsis to some other devices but uh, it is actually hard to fix the bugs uh, and uh, performance losses or uh, what i'd say battery related issues or camera some features won't work so those kind of things are uh, one by one he has to manually go through and fix it so that's really uh, wonderful work also really hard work so yeah really uh, thanks to nine and i guess he already fed up <laughs> with this port <laughs> and he clearly said this is his final port so encourage the developers guys encourage the developers okay so now we have installed it but i'm not going to uh, reboot to this one because i have to flash the magisk so for that reason i'm again doing the uh, wipe cache adb side load so uh, adb side load and i will be drag and dropping this apk file so earlier we will be uh, drag and dropping the zip file but recently magisk uh, apk itself you can uh, drag and drop uh, so uh, I will be just drag and drop in this magisk so cannot mount system so uh, what I do is I will just reboot to the uh, recovery again yeah so we have now rebooted to recovery and now I am going to do the EDB side load uh, W cache yes so I will run this again EDB side load now it is uh, getting uh, installed which is great so now we have installed magisk after magisk i also want to install this uh, leica mod uh, i don't know whether it will work in the recovery or uh, inside the uh, magisk but let me give it a try in, in this one only side load and leica camera Okay, I think I don't think uh, this package will um, work in here. We need to use it in the uh, Magisk, but we have installed the Magisk, so no issues. So once we are getting into Magisk, I will install the Termax and uh, uh, Leica and the Game Space. So let's do that. Uh, now I will go to reboot and the system. Yeah, that should do the thing. This is the moment of truth. Yeah, now it is booted. So it's a little bit, uh, I was uh, afraid. So <laughs> now it is booted. So yeah, OnePlus. 
so yemaye module also will uh, try it like a module but when doing this they said uh, it it has to be uh, connected to the cable uh, like this so that also will see okay so now we have uh, booted into oxygen os i am really excited but it, uh, it just turned off i guess ah uh, okay continue english so now it's asking uh, whether i want to copy next yes so uh, now uh, this is done so it is telling 9rtg setup get started so some icons here you can see it's a little bit uh, small in the size uh, but other than that uh, things are seems to be fine and here i have the app dryer as well and to go go back okay like this i can do so so this one currently running on uh, android 13 i believe which is not visible here it is visible with the february uh, 2023 security patch not uh, that much old so that is great i liked it and things also looking fine here and what about the camera so camera we have uh, camera go yeah google camera go so which is uh, fine for this one they, we don't have any uh, oxygen camera here at the same time we also um, have to install this magis and uh, try those things so for that reason i will have to connect this one enable the storage but uh, where is that setting um usb setting it's not popping up so where i can start this is a big story let me tell it really short i just restored the factory restored the oxygen os again and then i just set it up and i just tried it but still otg was not working and i just rebooted to orange fox recovery and in the recovery uh the file transfer was working so i just copied the files uh, inside the folder here so here you can see that uh, i have few, few files so uh, game space and this one is there but why it is not like okay so here i have all the folder all the three files so first i have uh, i will install this monolith so i open termex so also i have uh, uh, what i would say installed the uh, super so uh, magis also so so super user if i give means i will grant the access so now uh, the super user is enabled uh, after that what i am going to do is i have to install this i will type ms so i have to type this command um, su dash c space um this one okay let's hit space this one sd card and space and uh, the file actual file name is uh, i'll rename the file why i have to uh this one so no don't do that rename and i will just change it to oss oos so inside the oos uh, this is this one monolith.sh so oos slash mono lit dot sh and then close bracket okay yeah so now this uh, monolith uh, things are uh, getting installed so this is not mandatory but if you install this uh, uh, it will include some patches and things and uh, overall flow will be good uh, that is what uh, the dev is claiming i guess yeah it is taking some time so yeah totally 293 files has to be installed so this process is really really some water also uh, 
in the uh, main, in the messages also it is mentioned that uh, you have to be connected with your uh, usb cable uh, i connected to my laptop so that is when uh, it will install all these things so make sure you connect this one then only it will get successful so it is installing hotstar related file and all so so it also includes the mtp so i believe uh, this monolithic uh, will fix all the issue monolith so finally this looks like uh, installed uh, now it is showing its uh, cleaning up but uh, to be honest more than installing the rom this seems to be a big process i guess so yeah so now uh, this is successfully installed so termex app is over next thing is i will try to install the miui camera so for that i need to go to modules installed from storage and then uh, i have a uh, 95r oss ovs and i will install the leica and okay okay now uh, this is just uh, installed so let me reboot so after this i will install the game mode as well so from that uh, that installation perspective is done is it worth it or not i don't know but if mtp works this just changes the game so yeah yeah so mtp option is there inside the setting but it is not uh, popping up uh, in here so basically what you have to do is you have to enable the developer option and in the developer option you have to select the mtp but uh, for example uh, you can just directly set it to the diva default uh, ftp option to file transfer so now uh, next time when you connect it directly yes uh, i am able to view my uh, uh, device in this one so enable the developer option so i don't know so now we have installed the miui camera as well so yeah this is uh, this is still uh, this camera so here uh, we have the miui camera like a vibrant and all so okay so now this miui camera is here and 4k 30 so yeah great uh, so this i have to uh, test it uh, furthermore and the game mode uh, what about that i have to check yeah that also i'll install now also as we have uh, routed this in magisk if you have any banking apps related issue i have made a dedicated video on how to fix that you can watch it by using the link in the description or visiting the playlist of redmi note 10 pro so i'll go this module and uh, game space yes so yeah that is great i don't know this content are like going uh, more than hour or something to so editing it it will take four hours said like so i don't know my camera stopped working so now uh, we have installed this game mode also i think game mode is this or uh, miui game mode I don't know. So these and all, uh, we will test and make a full review of it. Or when opening the game, it may come. So uh, finally, we have uh, successfully installed this. So yeah, that is great. So after quite some struggle, we have finally installed this uh, Oxygen OS on the Redmi Note 10 Pro. So I will be testing this uh, for quite some time and uh, we'll eventually make a, a full review of it. So if you have any queries and concerns, please leave it uh, in the comment section. Also, I have a video of, also we have a video of uh, how to fix the uh, Magisk Manager banking related issue here. And if you want to see other uh, entry playlist of uh, Redmi Note 10 Pro, you can watch it here and you can subscribe to our uh, channel. So yeah, thank you for watching. Code Matok.